Hi guys, Anna here and welcome back to my digital art channel. Today we're talking about one of the features from the Procreate 5X update, which is gradient maps. And more specifically, how we can use this new feature, this new filter, to take a grayscale black and white painting and turn it into a full finished colored painting in a very short period of time. So I hope you're excited and let's dive right in. All right, guys, so we're going to be working with this uh, black and white sketch that I have here. And if you wanted to see how I actually painted it, you can do so. If you support me on Patreon, you will get access to the entire time lapse. Without further ado, let's dive right in. We're going to go to the adjustments and gradient map. So basically, all I have on this layer is this drawing. We don't have any background. We don't have anything. It's literally simply this girl okay so again uh, adjustments and let's go to the gradient map and i will do layer because we can get started with the entire layer if we wanted to so here we have different options and you can of course start with them it could also work out so fun i'm sure you can get started with this and then add more and more colors on top and on top and on top and it would just turn out super super fun uh, but what i'm gonna do is i'm going to try to create my own gradient map so i'm going to hit plus and let's select some colors so i actually have this palette for faces so i'm going to try to figure out how i can choose some of these colors um, to look cool on here. Um, I feel like this one's cool, but I want it to be darker and more saturated. So I'm going to go here. And then for the brightest one, let's see. There's something like this, but again, I want something more. So it's just a good start, but of course, um, it's always best to just follow your own ideas. So I'm going to do that and then create one more here. So I want the highlights to be white and then the rest we'll see how it goes. So that works. Let's add some more colors. There's going to be one in the middle here. I feel like something like this would be fun. I'm just going to make it more saturated, more interesting. And in all, I just love adding different colors that maybe don't really fit in, but I feel like they do. So something blue. And basically what this is, is that you're selecting what are the highest values going to, what color will the highest values have versus the darkest values. So we have your black white and gray and everything in between and then you just select i found that if you go for something really bright and then you select something dark it just doesn't work out right because you selected those values at the beginning that's why when you're selecting something here you should go for some things in this region because it will only make sense and when you select something really dark as in here you should go for something dark and not bright because I feel like that would be just a little bit too weird. But then again, um, there are some times that I guess rules should be broken. It is art after all. Um, so if you feel like something works best for you, you should totally go for it. So I'm thinking we're going to go for something like this. I want more colors. And I love that I am able to do that. Just add more colors as I go along. So basically, this is just playing around and seeing what you like. And of course, this is not be all. It's not the answer to all of your ideas, but it is a good start. I like going dark just to see what areas I'm affecting. Okay, and I feel like that's a good starting point. So I'm gonna hit done. And now we have this new gradient that we just created. So we can see some other ones. And this is the new gradient that we can actually change the, the name if we want to. Okay. 
So here we have this. It went, we went just from black and white to this color. And of course, it's just the beginning. So let's keep going. Um, usually what I wanted to do right now is I want to duplicate this layer and I want to work on a new one and I want to adjust it to my liking, but I want to have this copy because I don't know if I'm going to like it very much at the end. So right now I'm going to select the uh, gradient map again, but this time I want to work just with pencil. So maybe we can change the color of her hair. So I'm going to go with your art path all brush. This is a brush I created and I use it for everything. You can use any brush, it doesn't really matter, but if you want this one, you can get it for free. I will leave a link down in the description together with actually two more brushes for hair. So I think we're going to select a new um, gradient so we can see what we're painting on. The pressure with which you apply the paint will also change how everything looks. So as you can see, if I apply lightly versus harshly, very different ideas. I'm not afraid to leave um, her hair because she is on one layer, so I can just go crazy on the sides here. And of course, we can adjust it as we like later on as well. We can use the eraser and the blurring, the smudging, so no problem. Okay, so we went aboard here, so I'm just gonna pick an eraser tool and erase that. There you go, no problem. We can use even blur at some points if we wanted to. So now that we have her hair selected, we can decide what we want for it and can just make it as cool and weird as we want it to. So I think because we have this bluish color, we should keep it as well. I'm going to actually um, duplicate this portrait that we created. And then in the new one, I'll make some adjustments. For example, I don't want it to be red, let's say. I want her hair to be like a brown, I guess. If you hold on a color for a while, a delete button appears and we can use that for to our advantage. Actually, we should have also added something else. So I'm going to select the pencil again, and then I'm going to use it on her eyebrows. And while we're at it, I'm actually going to use it here as well. Cool, let's do another one. I hope you're enjoying this video so far and if you do smash that like button, subscribe to my channel for more digital art content and hit the notification bell icon so you don't miss any of my future videos. Thank you so much! Also, if you want to watch the entire time lapse of how I went about creating the digital painting in black and white, you can watch the entire time lapse on learn.yourartpath.com. It is available for my patrons together with many other digital art lessons, time lapses, and tutorials. Thank you so much for all of your support and let's get back to the video. This time, let's think about her eyes. Going to create a new one. We have the blackest ba blacks, the whitest whites, and then in the middle, I'm going to choose a color. I made her eyes pretty dark, so I'm just gonna do this. Make it with a hint of green. And 
I'll erase it before exiting. And now that's what it looks like. We added some blue to her eyes. The next thing we can work on is her mouth, her lips. Actually, that's a good one to get started with. So I'm going to select her mouth first. And I think I'm going to blur it out a little bit and not make it as sharp. Right, and now we can select the colors. All very crazy colors. So let's go to this gradient that we actually don't need anymore because we did use it for the eyes. Now we can use it for something else. And don't forget about the blue. Let's see if we can make her face look better. For example, her nose ring. Now, what we can do is make it darker, which looks pretty cool. We can also make it a little bit more blue because that's how everything is here. Just adding a little bit more color. Let's see if that looks better. Yeah, I think that looks much better. Maybe a little bit less saturated. Yep. Looking good. Now let's do her nose. I want to add some more color to this part of her face. Let me blur it out. You can add really cool things with this. I just want her cheeks to be more pink. I'm adjusting hue all the time just to make it more interesting. And then there are some parts where I don't want it. Just makes it look more alive. Cool. Let's see if we can add some more highlights to the hair. Yeah, I think that looks pretty cool. Just added some extra volume to the work. I wonder if it looked good on lips too. All right, and obviously this is just a good start. Um, if you wanted to keep it this way, you could do so, of course. But at the other hand, you can always just go on top, create a new layer and refine all the information. So we went from having this black and white drawing to having one gradient map, which still looks amazing. And you could keep it this way and just add a few things here and there if you wanted it to be just one color to actually having this sort of thing going on here. And honestly, if you wanted to, you could have just leave it here not do anything else uh, but of course you can duplicate the layer and then just play around with other things as well 
sort of unified if you must. You don't have to stop here, you know? It's your work. You can do whatever you want with it. And this is what the final drawing looked like. Um, of course, you can go with many different options and many different colors. That's why I decided to play around once more and just go with it, choose different colors and also use overlay layers or color layers to change the colors manually with just a brush and a layer while also playing with gradient maps. So kind of using best of both worlds um, and not limiting myself just to gradient maps. Gradient maps is a fantastic tool to get started, to get your work more interesting, to check what colors you want to work with. It's just so, so great. But of course, all of the other things that you know how to do and all of the other tips and tricks that you've learned and mastered over the years of art, you should not forget about them. Just keep using them. And I added some more filters to this one. It's not perfect. It's not cleaned up, but it's just kind of to show you that you shouldn't limit yourself with just gradient maps. Just play around with everything you know, and they should be a tool that helps you and not limits you. I hope you enjoyed this drawing and here is the final result. Let me know in the comments down below which one you like more. I hope you enjoyed this video and if you did, hit that like button, subscribe to my channel for more digital art content and hit the notification bell icon so you don't miss any future videos. And now it's time to either go ahead and create something of your own or watch another one of my videos. Thank you guys, see you around.